Hi everyone, this is Mike89. Welcome to the seventh video in my Sonic 3 and Knuckles with Knuckles tutorial series. Uh, this video is going to cover Mushroom Hill, and here we go. Alright, so immediately hold right at the start. And here, make sure you jump over this gap. Uh, the first big test is here. Uh, you want to make sure that you get as steep a jump out of this ramp as you can. So you go very, very high. Uh, right up to, ideally, actually, the second of these mushrooms, the higher of these two. Um, there's a couple of different, <clears throat> a couple of different ways to get up there, depending on how big your jump is. But the idea is, anyway, that you land on it, and once you land on one of these mushrooms, you've actually got a couple of frames uh, that you can jump before it bounces you off. Uh, so that's what we're going to do here. We're going to land on it and jump as quickly as possible. And then you may have just seen that there's a fire shield here. Uh, what we're going to do is just before we land on it is activate a glide and we're going to get a massive super glide up this way. So high in fact that we can grab a wall over here and actually climb up to Sonic's path. Uh, then from there we're going to go back to the start of Knuckle uh, Sonic stage. Again, there's a few different ways to do that, depending on how good your jump is there. Uh, and we're going to do a lever wrap method that you might recognize. So, uh, this is exactly the same as Sonic's lever wrap. So, there's a black mushroom in the background there. As So, hold left up to that point, and then pause, and then hold nothing, pause, switch to right, pause, and then switch to left coming out of this pause, and Knuckles gets pushed into the floor by the door. And so that there was actually the perfect uh, frame to end on. Normally you would um, do spin dashes to get yourself to that, to that pixel there, but it just so happened that I landed on it. Um, don't try that at home, by the way. <laughs> And then the getting to the boss, you don't have to do anything else. Um, you can't actually reach the boss, uh, despite what it looks like. That ground is actually flat. Uh, to save a fraction of time, what we're going to do is after the first hit, uh, immediately glide after having got that first hit and drop it immediately. Uh, if you're moving downwards, then uh, starting a glide actually causes you to fall a little bit faster, which is part of what actually makes the super glide so effective uh, and that means that you can jump back up quicker and get that that second hit a little bit quicker than you would with just the jump Act 2 doesn't save any time with glitches, so you get to um, see a pretty straightforward run of the stage. It's actually quite a fun stage to play. Uh, so, I just slightly mistimed my jump here. I think you want it to be a little bit later, so you jump from just behind the switch instead. And what that will do is, instead of landing next to the spikes like that, it'll clear it. You can land right on this mushroom and then jump across kind of like that, but with a bit more speed. Uh, as you go off this platform, you want to actually pull back to the left slightly, just to make sure that you hit that 10 ring box before hitting the enemy. Drop down there. Uh, we're going to go back up this path. Uh, you want to make sure that you're past this mushroom before you try and stop yourself, because otherwise you'll just land on it and bounce away and look a bit silly. Um, Climb, climb the wall here, but make sure, again, that you go past this pulley before you start grabbing and re-grabbing. Um, right near the end here, just as uh, just before it starts to slope down, there's actually an upslope you can jump off uh, to get a bit more height on this wall. Um, doesn't matter how quickly you climb it, though, because you've got to wait for this spot, uh, caterpillar thing anyway, uh, for the tail to get out of the way, and... So I've got it there. Uh, 
as soon as you hit this uh, red spring here, make sure you roll. So you're rolling up that slope. That uh, maintains more speed than running up it does. Uh, and then when you get back to about about where this part of the loop crosses over this part of the loop uh, is a good time to jump so that you land precisely on that yellow spring in the bottom right. Uh, you can see as well that I actually turned left slightly in the air. I should have done that for a little bit longer so that that didn't happen. Uh, the idea is to just hit the top of it and keep running. Uh, I was a little bit unlucky there. But that's what's meant to happen. And then you just carry on over to here. I've got an invincibility so I don't have to worry about getting hit there. Now uh, this bit just make sure you roll and jump when I do. Just to maintain as much speed as possible. Uh, from there you want to again get quite a steep jump out of that ramp. Um, so you can land next to the caterpillar and spin dash through it and kill it really quickly. Uh, so now what's going to happen here is that we're going to get a steep jump out of this ramp as well and we're going to skip the pulleys all together and actually grab onto one of the walls. It actually doesn't matter which of the walls you grab. Uh, if you go to, if you grab the right wall then you have to go around the bottom and if you grab the left wall then you go up to the top where the shields are. Uh, in this one I grab the left wall. Um, it's about the same time either way. Uh, okay, so ideally what you want to do here is jump from about here, clear that clear that corner, hit the radar dish, and then as you bounce away, glide just before hitting the ground and slide into the boss. And after getting that first hit on the boss, then charge a spin dash, and then you get six hits before he moves away. Um, here I slightly screwed it up and let go of it a bit too early, so I actually bounced off the boss and then got hit over here instead, but I was able to get to five. Um, so what you want to do here, jump into the boss and the moment you make contact with the boss but no earlier, uh, pull out a glide. So and see how tight it should be. So about two frames after bouncing away I got the glide out. Uh, and if you get the six hits correctly then this is the end of the fight obviously. Um, you can see how long each extra hit takes to get as well. And that's Mushroom Hill. So I'll go back to the start and play through that stage again without any interruptions.